Welcome inside the latest edition of the BRS and Insider, Safe at Home Edition. Josh Pound, happy to be joined by track coach for Benetton College, Jaquel Smith. And, and coach, I guess the, the first thing we'll start off with you is, you know, we didn't really get a chance to sit down and, and recap uh, how the team did at uh, Indoor Nationals, which with the way that things have gone over the course of the, the most of March and, and all of April so far, seems to almost feel like it was a year ago. Um, but just uh, if you want to take us back and revisit, uh, you know, first time that uh, you took a group to nationals here at Benedictine in, in your first semester as the head coach, just take us back uh, on your thoughts on how everybody performed there at nationals. Well, first of all, it was a, <clears throat> just a great time to be uh, a part of the program for the first time in a couple months and uh, able to get some kids qualified uh, late in the, uh, in the season. But, uh, no, for the, on the women's side, um, our relays four by eight, we had, um, uh, Couple young uh, new faces on there uh, compared to the uh, previous year's four by eight, uh, two freshmen and a senior, and it's our first time going as well. Kathleen Joyce, uh, it ran well. Uh, I mean, we was in the mix to get into the finals, and uh, you know, we just kind of missed out on it by a couple spots. But they ran pretty way better, uh, way better time than they did at the conference meet. So it was, that was exciting to see and something to build off of going to the next year, especially with three of those four coming back uh, from their four by eight team. And um, <clears throat> but, um, triple jump wise, we lose Sarah Lucas, but she competed well. Uh, I think the biggest thing for her was getting back there for back-to-back uh, uh, -back years. And, you know, the thing that I think she really wanted was to get her individual conference title, which she did back at the Harvard American Championships. But uh, she performed well. And Teresa Ambiel, um <clears throat> ran a, a great 600. Um, her biggest thing was just getting back to nationals individually. Uh, she's been there in the relays a couple times, but I think, getting back individuals is like one of her things that she really wants to accomplish. And we was glad that she was able to accomplish that. And, um, you know, so it was an exciting thing for her and just a great time for that, with that women's squad. On the men's side, um, Jeremiah Conley, you know, senior, the, um, in the multis in the heptathlon, he was in the mix and just kind of fell um, back a little bit on day two uh, after the hurdles. So that kind of hurt him a little bit, but, uh, you know, he was still able to finish uh, his career on a good note, getting back to uh, nationals for the second time. Um, Jacob Loris, uh, freshman. Uh, we had two freshman guys, which was pretty exciting. Uh, in the pole vault, uh, Jacob uh, didn't clear a height, but um, you know, that's one of the things he has to build off of and you know, get stronger at uh, kind of going in at a higher height as uh, meets now. So instead of coming in so low, uh, he's going to start doing that next year. Well, he's hoping to have that for outdoor, but you know, circumstances. <laughs> uh, but you know, he was a competitor and I loved about him. He didn't really take it that hard, but uh, you know, he's young so. That kind of um, that kind of let us know, like, all right, he's ready for the future. You know, when the time comes, it's gonna be his time. Uh, Joshua Morris, which is also a football kid, uh, made it in the triple jump and was literally a half an inch away from getting to that finals. I mean, his toe was literally right there <laughs> for it to scratch, and we was like, oh my gosh! And it would have been like a top five jump. And um, but you know, he took it pretty and pretty hard, especially seeing how uh, one of the guys in the conference got in the finals and he knew he could beat him. And, uh, you know, but his parents was there. It's an exciting moment for him. And, uh, you know, I think he's going to be ready to come back ready to rock and roll as well. Well, and ordinarily, you know, strong finishes, even though they may not net All-American or top eight finishes at indoor, lead to the momentum that you need going into the outdoor season. Now, obviously, uh, this year uh, there was no momentum to seize. Uh, just take us back through how you and the program worked through uh, you know, those days at, at towards the end of spring break, you you know, you're probably getting everybody tuned up and ready to go to start your outdoor season there as soon as you hit the ground running after spring break. And then that Monday after spring break, everything kind of comes to a crashing halt. Just take us back through uh, how those couple of days went for you and your team. Well, um, <clears throat> arriving back from um, nationals, you know, everybody's pretty excited you know, going outdoor because that's what we look forward to, like indoor. A lot of kids don't like indoor, but they know we have to have the season, so it's kind of a tune-up for them. Uh, so most of the guy, uh, guy, uh, team that didn't qualify was uh, staying in shape, getting some, the workouts in, and we sent them over to uh, break, and it was, you know, getting excited about it. Um, once everything happened, um, it was a shocker, and, um, you know, it hurt for It's still hurting a couple. I mean, you can kind of tell off Joe Butler's post yesterday that he's still feeling it too, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, we, we had to meet about it. We had a, a team Zoom uh, a week and a half later just to make sure, you know, before they shut the season completely down. And, you know, everybody, you know, expressed themselves, but, you know, we're doing fine right now. 
uh, just getting everybody ready to come back, staying in shape um, as much as possible, and staying protected as well. So obviously now we, we've transitioned into the remainder of the semester being uh, online classes and, you know, Zoom meetings, team meetings, uh, through Microsoft Teams and whatnot. How, how are you uh, able to, to stay track or, and keep track of the team? And how often are, are you touching base, base with you, your team? Obviously your team, a lot bigger uh, than some of our other spring sports. So that's probably kind of a, a little bit harder number to manage. So how, how are you going about doing that? Well, um, <clears throat> there's been phone calls and, and everything um, through FaceTime and stuff like that, a couple of text messages here and there. But we do a team Zoom circuit uh, every Wednesday. And uh, whoever's able to chime in, you know, we welcome everybody. I think the most we had was this past Wednesday, um, about, I think, 34. Uh, so we'll have one today uh, at 5 o'clock, and um, hopefully we have more. It's pretty fun. Uh, we pump each other up, and, you know, we, we kind of <clears> – <throat> we spell, we have an alphabet circuit, so it's spell your name. So we use some of the team names. Uh, even though for today, today is Claire Zarabaniki, so that's going to be a long one. So everybody's going <laughs> to probably enjoy that one because it's going to be pretty tough, especially this is our first time having the letter Z. And the letter Z has a tough uh, exercise and everything. But, um, you know, just trying to reach out, I mean, it's tough. You know, you got a staff, but you're still tough trying to reach out to all the kids and see what they're doing. Most of them are uh, working jobs as well uh, while trying to maintain their studies. Uh, but other than that, uh, it's been going pretty well with the Zooms and, um, like I said, reaching out to the kids and, well, I mean, I think I've heard from pretty much every single one. Uh, but, yeah, just trying to keep them motivated. And, you know, they, most of the time, you can't reach me in the morning time because most of them are with classes and everything. So you have to wait. And by the time you wait, it's like, oh, well, they work now. So, but, yeah, it's been going pretty well. <clears throat> well, and then, you know, this is an interesting time of the year normally anyway because not only are you working through the outdoor season, getting ready for the conference championships and hopefully run it at making some kids, having some, some qualifiers for nationals, but you're also working the recruiting, uh, you know, the, the high school seasons are, are all in full swing across the country. And this year that doesn't get to happen. So what is recruiting look like? Or are you going off, you know, how, how do you, uh, you know, base your, your recruiting off of seasons that were also taken away from prospective student athletes? Well, uh, speaking of conference, you mentioned that this would have been championship week. So uh, <laughs> I was pumping myself up about it when I went on a run this week. I was like, yeah, oh, well, has gone away, but um, <clears throat> as far as recruiting, um, it's been going pretty good. Uh, we have about 21 at the moment. Um, I've just been looking at kids who, who, you know, it's not even about quality. Um, basically just trying to give every kid an opportunity who reaches out to us and even the ones we talk to. And of course, we have to research some that we have, you know, we won as well. Uh, but the opportunity uh, itself is kind of wide open. Like, I think I'm literally talking to a kid in every state, which is something I've never done. <laughs> so, <laughs> Uh, I mean, Wyoming, I mean, you know, South Dakota is right there. I mean, though we have a South Dakota kid on the team, but I've been pretty much everywhere, especially my home state, Mississippi, been looking into that as well. But um, it's been interesting. I just kind of been basing off what they did the previous year to kind of let me know what kind of what, what ability uh, these uh, recruits, these freshmen have. Um, so um, the class is shaping up pretty well. Um, on the women's side, we got a really good depth of distance coming in. Um, and, you know, got a pole vaulter. We, we real close to getting a race walker. So, and, you know, hopefully we get a ship build national contender every year. Uh, so hopefully we can get that, um, that deal closed real soon. Uh, the men's team is shaping up pretty well. I mean, I think uh, Coach Brown did a good job with last year bringing in a really good men's squad. So we just kind of um, topping that off with some uh, really good guys and everything. So I'm looking forward to seeing some of them uh, once they get. Well, finally, you know, you, you were – uh, welcome to campus, you know, right before the end of the semester. Uh, unfortunately, come from a circumstance where you were coaching at an institution down the road that decided to no longer sponsor uh, cross country and track and field. So you kind of had to be feeling like, you know, things probably can't get much more weird than, than hey, I'm at a school where we were thriving as a program and then the decisions made to, uh, to drop a program and then Mother Nature comes in this semester and throws COVID-19 at us. How, how, you know, how that you had to have been, you know, it's been quite the roller coaster couple of semesters for you, hasn't it? Yeah, uh, I've had several days where I honestly would just, do I really want to do this now? I mean, what is going on? Uh, but God has really been a big part of my life. My wife has been supporting me, my family. Uh, it's even been tough in COVID. I mean, our kids got stuck uh, in Mississippi during spring break, so we haven't physically seen them since the second week of March. Oh. That's been tough as well. Uh, hopefully everything, you know, clears up and we can see them real soon. But, but 
I mean, it's been a challenge. Uh, I just try to keep myself um, going. Uh, I run pretty much. Uh, I've been I started back running uh, last month because um, of a knee injury. I could have been going, but had to get those knees right. I'm getting old, I guess. Uh, but you know, I've done more um, cooking than I have uh, in the previous years for my family. Like, my, I can cook, but my wife, like, she's been the cook for years. But and she cooks everything, you know, homemade stuff and everything. But I've done well. She enjoys my meats and everything that I season so there's been like a hobby now like figuring out what type of recipes I can do uh, seasoning meats and everything and, uh, but making workouts planning for the season uh, having you know talking to my coaches trying to you know keep each other uplifted uh, actually had a conversation with coach Phil and coach EJ yesterday and uh, you know just taking it all in as it is you know but you know like I said guys got some bigger plan for me uh, with that and for you know Benedict and track and field and for the school so I'm just looking forward to seeing uh, what that is and, you know, hopefully it's a championship and more in years to come. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, fundraising too, uh, you know, there's some of the ideas we're trying to come up with. And, um, you know, just staying abrupt. Um, it gives me more time to become a better coach. Uh, listening to a, and watching a lot of documentaries, uh, reading some books. Um, some coaches that are, you know, 20, 30 years in, they're putting out a lot of um, coaching clinics online. So. Uh, it's going to definitely make me a better coach uh, mentally, uh, you know, with the workouts and everything, but how to handle my student athletes as well, especially with this culture that I haven't spent but three or four months with, technically two, if you look at it. <laughs> so uh, that's kind of what's been going on, and I, uh, I'm actually up for the challenge, and, you know, we'll see what happens in the future. Well, it sounds to me like you, you've just come up with a great idea for our fall uh, coaches meeting. When we get back on campus in the fall, we're going to have a, a quarantine cook-off and see who came up with the best recipe uh, and feed the rest of the staff when we get back to campus there in that the fall. Should, that should be fun. <clears throat> All right, Jaquel, well, I appreciate you taking the time today. Stay safe, stay healthy. Hopefully you get to see those kiddos soon and everything kind of starts to normalize out for you. But I want to thank you for taking the time here this this afternoon with us to to sit down and talk about your uh, the way things have been going for you and the track team. Uh, no problem, Josh. Thank you guys, man.